on the, there is a hazard mitigation grant program, and I guess some people are asking whether or not Hampton would be eligible for that. So there's, I think there's two parts to that question. The first is I've seen an email string go around, and we've received some calls. So the hazard mitigation program that that email talked about um, globally. Um, that program that folks think we're eligible for, we are not. Short answer is, based on this last storm, individuals who suffered damage are not eligible based on uh, the declaration. In order for a process for this hazard mitigation program to take place, there must be a storm that causes damage. There must then be a certain amount of damage so the state can apply to the federal government for a disaster declaration. This past storm in Hampton, while we had damage, it didn't reach those thresholds. So no declaration was pursued or is going to be. Anyone who suffered damage as a result of that storm is advised to contact their insurance uh, providers for it. That begs the second question of what programs are available. I have been in touch with uh, Homeland Security, uh, the person in charge of grants and the director. We're going to have a meeting next week where we're going to, what I want to do is work on this information. There used to be a number of programs available to folks, a repetitive loss, and this is an issue we are experiencing and we're going to continue. So I've been in touch with them to try and figure out what programs can our folks individually apply for. And there's a whole myriad of federal programs. We're going to try and identify those that might work here. We'll work with Homeland Security first, and then my hope is to come back to the board and to schedule a a public meeting or a public information session where we can sit down, have these folks come back and answer questions. Okay. Thank you very much. All right.